Hello, this is Vampire. I've seen so many videos where I've seen police officers chasing after a suspect and because they don't know how to properly engage the ground, they end up falling over and wrestling with the suspect when they really didn't have to. So I'm hoping they're gonna find this video very useful because I'm gonna show you how to prevent from getting taken down and also if you have to go to the ground, how to engage it properly. Now, if you talk to any MMA fighter and ask them, how can I stop someone from taking me down? They're all going to give you the same answer, that you're going to have to learn how to sprawl. Sprawling comes from basically freestyle wrestling. Okay, what I'm about to show you is an easier street version of the sprawl. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to have to learn, okay, is when the person that's attacking you is going to switch levels on you. When that happens, okay, the worst thing to do is you're gonna come down like this, okay? You're gonna come down because they went down, you came down, but except you're bending over like this to try to stop them. What this does, all right, is your center is all messed up now, okay? You're, you're leaning forward, okay? And there's nothing holding you this way, so if they, you know, snapped and pulled you forward, you're, you're easily gonna fall down. Or if they grab your legs and if they pull you this way, you're once again going to hit the ground. So what you need to do, okay, the easiest way to be able to back out, all right, this is what you're doing. So as they come in for your legs, the first thing to do is just to go ahead and take a step back like this. Okay, so what I do is one of your legs just shoot it out and you see how low I come. So if I'm standing right here and someone comes at me, I shoot out my leg, okay? Just by shooting out, now I could fit in the camera, as you can see. If I'm standing right here, look, look at how tall I am. So all I did was shoot my leg out, okay? I'm not bending over, this is not difficult. This is not difficult to do, okay? The main thing to remember is, as you shoot your legs out, okay, you don't want your foot to be facing in the same direction. The foot that you're shooting out, go ahead and turn it this way, okay? You definitely have to worry about a chance of rolling your ankle, okay? But if you go straight back this way, it's gonna hurt your ankle for sure, okay? There's a much stronger chance that you can hurt your, your ankle. If you go this way, okay, it's a lot safer. Your, your legs were meant to do this. You watch people who do the splits, this is the way they go, all right? They, they don't have the foot in this way, okay? If their foot is aligned forward, you're gonna break your ankle. So just tilt your foot and go back like this, and you can come down low, okay? And this is where you can try to catch them, try to bring them back up. Okay, so the next scenario I've seen happen so many times is for some reason the suspect he falls over or you know they're running after each other so it's like a chase and, and they end up rolling you know off into the ground and end up in a wrestling match. Okay, now what to do here is let's bring the camera down there. So okay, your suspect is on the ground right there. You might be running after them. Okay, so from that point, what we're going to do is we're going to drive in with the knee. Okay, this is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Basics 101. We're coming in with the knee. And as we do, we, we enter with the knee. And you see, I fold right here. Okay, so this, from this position right here, it's actually keeping my groin safe. It looks like it's totally exposed, but remember, my suspect is here. Okay, not here. So if I come at them straight ahead like this and try to deal with them, I can easily fall over at this point and my groin is exposed. So what I want to do is enter at an angle using my knee. So my knee is going to be my entry point and it can also, this is going to be used to pin them down, to hold them down. Ask any Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy, purple belt techniques, they go into knee on the stomach, you know, 
knee on the belly type techniques that occur from here, okay? But this is the basic. Enter at an angle like so, and you'll find that this actually is a very stable position to be like this, okay? So, once again, you enter at an angle right here, and as you come in, squat down like this, okay? You can put as much of your weight onto them as you want, but at this point right here, the main thing is I'm not falling over. If I come in, my whole body, my whole body comes in together, okay? So I'm one unit. So this makes it difficult for me to fall over. My groin is exposed this way, but remember, the guy is right here. If he decides to tack this way towards my groin, I have both of my hands to prevent, okay? So as I'm coming in here trying to pin his hands, pin his arms down, okay, I can drop the knee and pin them down. All right, so a good way to practice this is to put the heavy bag down on the floor, have officers run and land into this position, okay? The Aikido guys also know the benefit to this. They call it the samurai walk. So from here, you can move like so and still keep this position. You see sumo wrestlers also stay in this position uh, quite a lot for their training and also when they compete. So this is a very strong position. Learning this and making this a habit is gonna help you and hit the ground, engage the ground without just falling over and end up in a wrestling match. From here, you can still apply your knee, control, handcuff the guy.